Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Heidi from My Reading Life here today to do a tag video. This tag is the Under the Influence of Booktube tag originally created by Olive over at a book Olive and she kindly tagged me in her original video. Um, so I'm just gonna get into these questions because they're super excellent. Question number one, name a fantastic book you read off the recommendation of another booktuber. For this one, I chose The Inconvenient Indian uh, by Thomas King. This was recommended well over a year ago by Mercedes on uh, Mercy's Bookish Musings. And this nonfiction book just sounded excellent from Mercedes' description. Uh, it was a, uh, talked about the Native American um, experience since European colonization and throughout history since that time period and what they've endured but written with humor and wit, which is my favorite kind of nonfiction. Um, I buddy read An Inconvenient Indian with Doris over at Aldi Books last month in August, and it was an excellent book, which just goes to show you that we should all listen to Mercedes all the time. Name a book that you were talked out of reading because of a booktuber's review. For this, I'm choosing Sick by Poro Krista Kakpur, which was recommended by Britta Bowler um, in her Reading Women recommendation video last June. This is a nonfiction book about a woman who suffers a chronic illness, Lyme disease, um, but just from Britta's description, I knew it wasn't gonna be a type of book that I enjoy. I really dislike when a book is intensely what I call navel gazing. Um, and from Britta's description, it seemed like that book was gonna be uh, that type of a book. And I just, I just don't get on with that. Um, you know, as far as book recommendations from other booktubers, I could go on and on. I'm currently reading There There by Tommy Orange and loving it, which has been recommended by tons of booktubers um, recently. And uh, I was very strongly encouraged to read it by Doris. And I am super glad I picked it up because it is a fantastic book. So I could name tons of books for this question. Question two, has booktube opened your mind or changed your mind about any genre? I wouldn't necessarily say, say um, changed my mind for this because I've always read widely throughout many genres. I like to mix it up so I won't get bored with any particular genre. And there are no genres that I won't read, um, at least none that I can think of. There are some that I like more than others, but none that I won't read. But I would have to say that BookTube has influenced me to read more literary fiction. Before joining BookTube, I tended to avoid literary fiction because I had often picked up uh, things that I had heard about or seen reviewed in other internet venues and just simply wasn't for me. And I found it difficult um, from the descriptions of the book to tell whether I would like a literary fiction book or not. But on BookTube, I have certain booktubers that I, um, I know uh, sort of the direction that they like to go in with their reading and I trust their recommendations and so it's easier for me to find literary fiction books that I will like if I listen to a lot of the booktubers that I trust. Question three, how much time did you spend on YouTube before booktube and how much time do you spend on it now? Um, I spent zero time on YouTube before booktube. I didn't really understand what YouTube was before booktube because my kids watch YouTube, especially my son. And I, so I thought it was all like videos of kids doing silly things and getting laughs out of their friends or like cat videos or videos of people racing snowmobiles or motorcycles. <laughs> I had no idea the depth and the breadth of content that is encompassed in YouTube. And I only found BookTube by searching for um, a review of a, I don't even remember what book it was. I was looking for more information about a particular book. And when I s searched in Google for this book's name, a YouTube video, a BookTuber's video popped up. And I think it was um, Jean's from Jean's Bookish Thoughts. Is that her channel name? But you know what I mean? The BookTuber Jean from Great Britain who's pretty a big booktuber um and once I started watching her videos I like binged on her videos and, and she would talk about other booktubers and so I've since found my way you know to like Jen Campbell and uh other booktubers I don't even can't even think of off the top of my head but it was just a slippery slope from there so now I spend um 
at least a half hour watching booktube every day if not closer to an hour because i watch booktube in the morning when i'm exercising um, and then I also watch book two when I'm doing chores around the house, like washing dishes or something like that. Um, I don't typically tend to watch book two just straight up. Um, I don't watch it like TV um, because I just don't watch TV, really. <laughs> I like to read when I have free time. So probably at least a half hour to an hour a day is what I watch now. Question four, how many books did you read per month or per year before booktube and how many do you read now? I don't think my overall number of books read has changed very much. I've always, well, always, since my kids have gotten to the age where they are more interested in their own activities than doing anything with me. So I would say from preteen till now, so freed up a lot of my spare time. And since that time period, I read between 120 and 130 books a year. Um, I am on pace to read that many this year. I may read a few more, so um, there may be a slight uptick this year, but I don't think it's going to be a significantly different number of total books read in the year. Okay, Ch question five. Has BookTube affected your book buying habits? And if so, are you pleased or displeased by this? Yes, I would definitely say um, my book buying habits have changed. I'm not sure that it's all due to booktube. My life circumstances have changed in that I have more disposable income now than I've had at any other time in my life. And so that allows me um, the freedom to buy books, buy new books or used books more often than I did when I was younger. Um, and I'm also not as... Um, I don't work in the same town as my library anymore, whereas I used to work in the same town as my library. So that made it real easy to go to the library. Now it's a little bit more of a challenge. So I buy more books just because I have more disposable income and because my library isn't as convenient for me to get to anymore. Um, and participating in booktube has changed what I buy because I've been more involved in like buddy reads or group reads of one kind or another and that's influenced books that I want to buy to participate in those things. So yes, it has, but I don't think it's the only factor. Question six, has a review by a booktuber ever retroactively made you reconsider your stance on a book? Yes, I would say so, but only in a positive way. Um, it's made me, reviews by booktubers of books that I had already previously read have certainly made me think about different aspects of the book in terms of themes or structure or other things that I hadn't considered before. I would definitely say that being on booktube has caused me to be more thoughtful about what I read, which is very cool. Um, but generally bo booktubers reviews of books that I've already read do not make me like or dislike a book more. I already have my opinion. I might think about a particular aspect of a book that I hadn't thought about or a theme or something like that, but it's not going to make me like a book that I disliked. Um, and it's not probably not going to make me dislike a book that I liked, <laughs> although I might like it a little bit less, I guess, if there's some problems with the book that I hadn't considered. Question seven, are, th are there any videos that you've been inspired to make after seeing another booktuber's videos? Definitely yes. There are lots of videos I would like to make, but don't have, I don't feel I have the technical capabilities or the know-how to do. Um, for example, bookshelf tours, I enjoy watching those. I haven't done that yet on my channel. Um, and then there was one that sticks out in my mind of a, a video type that I really um, thought about participating with but didn't in the end and probably should have was a while ago there was uh, quite a few discussion videos about the differences between a classic and a modern classic and I had lots of thoughts about that. And for a while I thought, well, I'll make a video about it. And then it was more like I didn't, I really wanted to be thoughtful about it and I didn't find the time to be as thoughtful as I wanted to be in order to like think about what I wanted to say with the video and I just never got there to make in the video. So yeah, there have been times I've felt inspired. Am I real good at following through on that? No, I'm real terrible at following through on that. And then... Uh, also part of this question is, have you ever felt inspired by another booktuber's style? Um, absolutely. There are many, many booktubers whose style I admire. Um, the thing that I like 
I probably gravitate towards the most um, in another booktuber's videos is their communication style. If they make videos that are sort of chatty, casual videos that don't seem scripted, those are the type of videos that I like the best and those are the type of videos that I feel um, the most inspired to make. That's what I aspire to be in my videos is to be chatty and casual and so that's what I generally like. Um, people like Olive at a book Olive. I love her style. She's very polished in how she talks much more than me but she's also casual in how she discusses a book but very thoughtful and also brings a lot of um, humor to what she says which I love. I love a lot of um, humorous. Uh, I like it when a person tries to bring humor into their discussion of a book. Um, so and I also love, um, I aspire to be more like people who use a lot of uh, gifs or pictures up here in their videos. One vi booktuber that I love and certainly would aspire to be more like would be David over at The Poptimist. I absolutely adore his videos and his magnificent use of the gif. Um, and then people who do a lot of vlog style videos like Sean over at a book, Sean the Book Maniac and Doris over at Aldi Books. They both do a lot of vlog style videos and I have started doing those a little bit but I am not very um, comfortable or confident in doing those so I definitely have something to I aspire to. Question 8. What are some pressures you feel on your reading life because of your channel? Um, I don't know that I feel a lot of pressure um, from booktube itself. I guess one thing I could say is I feel a lot of pressure to do the tags that people have tagged me in. I'm really bad at like getting to tags quickly after I've been tagged. So that's one thing I do feel pressure on. Um, and then sometimes I find it hard to film in a certain week because of my schedule, whether it's, you know, my kids have a lot of activities that I'm trying to chase around after, or I have night meetings for work or whatever. If I just have a busy week and I, I feel the pressure to try to get some content up because I like to do at least one video per week. So I definitely do feel that pressure a little bit, although I'm, I'm also fairly laid back about that. I don't feel, I mean, this is just a hobby for me. It's not a job. I don't get any monetary type benefits from doing this. So I don't feel the pressure to really be that consistent, but I do feel the pressure to, to put stuff up for the people in the audience that are constantly watching and making nice comments. So that's sort of where I feel the pressure. Um, and the other thing that I sort of think booktube has brought on, although I don't know that I would call it pressure, but I do feel like this constant state of wanting to read all the things. So like the excitement for all these books that everyone's talking about, I want to read them right now and I just can't, <laughs> I don't have time. So I wish, I mean 120 to 130 books a year is a lot of books a year and I know my real life friends would say all you do is read, but I still do feel that pressure to read more because because I'm excited about all the books that I hear about on BookTube. Question nine, in what way, if any, do you feel the social element of the community has impacted your reading? Do you think about books differently since joining? So socially, my reading is much more tied to other people than it was before. I mean, it was always a solitary, um, pretty much a solitary activity for me in the past. I only had a few, I only have a few people in my re real life um, circle of friends that are readers. So I don't have a lot of people that I can talk about books with. Um, so it's, be since booktube it's become much more of a social activity for me with buddy reads and read alongs and other community type group reads. And I love that. I love that feeling of reading a book with somebody else that's able to discuss it with you as you go along. I just, I, I think that's probably my favorite part of booktube um, right there is just all the buddy reads and, and the community reading. And then of course the discussions in the comment section um, with each video. Just fantastic discussions and I love that um, part of being social about books that I didn't have before. Um, I don't think that I really think about books any differently um, than I did before. I've always been such a book nerd that I, I mean, I don't think how I think about books themselves has changed. Question 10, what influence do you hope your own channel will have on the booktube community or aspiring booktubers? Um, I don't necessarily feel like I want to influence anybody with my channel. I just hope that 
anybody that watches my channel is inspired to just join in. If you want to talk about books and you have a smartphone or any kind of video camera, I hope that you will just jump in, that you won't feel like you need to have special equipment or you need to have special skills. I certainly don't. And I hope that maybe it would encourage people who are a bit older. I'm a middle-aged person and I really enjoy um, participating in this medium. It's not something I ever thought that I would get involved in. I'm not a uh, particularly active social media person other than on booktube so i just hope anybody who watches my videos would be inspired or influenced to just jump right in um and then i guess the other thing that i hope people come away from is is some good recommendations um for some reads maybe that they hadn't heard of before particularly in the nonfiction area i think that's a strength that i have i read a lot of nonfiction. Um, and that does not seem to be uh, a particular area that a lot of people read much of. So maybe that helps somebody find a book to read, I hope. So that's the end of the questions. Um, I should tag a couple of people and I did remember to um, write down some names because usually when I get to this point in a tag video, I go blank and I can't remember anybody's channel names at all. So I would like to tag um, Jen at Remembered Reads, Sean at Sean the Book Maniac, and Laura Fry to do this tag if they are so inclined. And thank you again to Olive over at A Book Olive for tagging me in this very fun tag. I had a good time talking about all these questions. And uh, I hope everybody out there is doing well, and I will talk to you later.